It's not China, it's a GIS International News Desk. in the southern Chinese province of Guangdong are reporting power outages around midnight amid a nationwide power crunch in the wake of a ban on coal imports from Australia. The outages plunged the streets of industrial cities Dongyuan, Shenzhen, Fashan, and Zhuhai, as well as Beiyan district in the provincial capital Guangzhou, into darkness, according to photos and video uploaded to social media. The outages hit at around midnight on December 21, the traditional winter solstice festival in the Chinese lunar calendar, the longest night of the year. In a statement on Monday, the Guangdong Power Supply Bureau blamed equipment failure affecting customers in the Sanyu Anli and Luochenggui areas of Guangzhou. Full power was restored to the grid after an hour, following emergency repairs, it said. Water supplies and internet connections were also affected, in an incident later described by state-run China Southern Power Grid as a grid failure, Hong Kong's Apple Daily newspaper reported on Monday. A resident of Guangzhou's Beiyan district surnamed Zheng said there had been many outages in recent weeks. After no outages for 10 years, suddenly this is happening again, Zheng said. The reason in this case is that coal supplies are too scarce and aren't enough to meet demand. I heard that they are unable to generate enough electricity. Residents said there was no notification of the outages in advance, sparking a flurry of complaints posted to social media platforms by frightened residents. Posts with the keywords Guangzhou power outage attracted millions of views during a brief survey of the Sina Weibo microblogging platform by RFA on Monday. Electricity, water cut-off power outages also appeared to have affected other services, with residents of Guangzhou's Luan and Beiyan districts complaining that the local mobile phone signal was interrupted for 10 to 20 minutes and that there was no water or electricity supply. Some posts reported calling the water supply hotline and being told that the water supply was affected by the power outages. Posts also reported that hospitals, nursing homes, and school dormitories in some areas were affected, as well as broadband and mobile internet services. Rights activist Wang Aizhong, who lives in Guangzhou's Tian district, said there had also been outages in that area a couple of days earlier. Two days ago, there was an announcement on Sina Weibo that there were power outages in some areas out of Guangdong, Wang said. It wasn't clear whether this was a normal power outage for maintenance or due to insufficient power supply. A waiter in a restaurant in Zhongshan who gave only the surname Zhu told RFA that he had also. Thanks for joining the GIS International News Desk.